What's up, y'all? This week's episode of the podcast is brought to you by Goody Brand and these brand new shirts. We're dropping Thursday at 9 p.m. Pacific time, midnight East Coast time. We got this sexy ass peach airbrush Goody Brand shirt. And we got these right here. Go to therapy, ho, because you need therapy. All of us need therapy. Go to therapy, ho. Okay, so we dropping those, we dropping these, we dropping some extra goodies. So make sure you check that out. Goodybrand.com, Thursday, 9 p.m. Uh, or or, or uh, midnight on the East Coast. Goodybrand.com, all right? Five, four, three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Tell me what you gonna do when ain't no way to mind. And we just become for you, we just become for you. But I'm not the bottom. It's Uncle Charlie. And the group that God's got him. And I'm gonna save everybody. And I roll the dough. My game. Look to the one who's playing. I'm praying to just the man that took to be the same. Little easy came to me. Tell me the truth of the sea, so don't please run him. Oh, is that what you're talking about? I got you coming. Are you the only one that knows this? You get come back now. Bless you working on a plan for heaven. Follow the Lord on 24 7. Days. Got us who we praise, even though the devil's, devil's all up, up in her face. face and keeping me safe in my place. Play. Safe place of the chase of race, of the race of chase of drugs. Uh, <laughs> girl, you bitches no selling their thugs. Ooh, Ooh, what can I do? Talk about family and how yeah, do we go? Do. Can I get a witness at all? Ooh, we live in our life to eternal soul. So, hey, 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 <laughs> I'm Nikki Blake. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm 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 Chicky I'm, Bone. I'm, I'm Funny Bone. Don't take that shit. <laughs> I'm I'm Can We Bone? And uh, <laughs> we got a uh, special special guest today. Um, y'all might know her from her stand up comedy. Mm-hmm. You know, I seen her all over all Dev Digital, just being hilarious. I uh, get it for a Kenesha Bus. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Well, man, I'm having a good time, especially we started off with Bone. I'm turning Man, <laughs> I, I had no idea you were such a huge Bone thug. Oh, my God. Man. Yo, I got kicked out of school for fighting over them. I was on a... Tell us about it. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it was cooking class, and these motherfuckers been talking stuff about Bone the whole time. It was these two boys. They had Negatively? Negatively. Ninth grade. They were team crucial conflict. Yeah. First of all, smoking <laughs> on. But, and it's actually 3-6 Mafia, because I got beef with them. Oh. Still. Oh, hey. back yeah. Shit. Um... Weird. And what had happened was they've been beefing all year with me. Then they got the nerve to come to my kitchen and ask me to borrow two eggs. Oh, so I'm like, shit. ain't no motherfucker. It's bone thugs over here. <laughs> I don't know how we got into a fist fight. It was me versus these two 10th grade boys. Okay. And my, they called my mom from the school. And my mom is like, oh, my God, is my daughter okay? They said, ma'am, your daughter just whooped two asses. She's <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And when I, I was on Fox Hope for a long time over on Sirius XM, uh-huh. they had Crazy Bone come surprise me on the air. Oh. Middle of me rap. Man, right after I had surgery, nobody told me to get cute. I didn't have no bra, nothing. I'm just like, hey, I love you. So it messed me up. So, but no, I love Bone. I named my daughter after them, Kalina Harmony. Um, I, I, you know, I'll go Are you hard from the like uh, Ohio? No, I'm from Seattle, but I went to Cleveland High School because oh. they were from Cleveland, Ohio. That is adorable. Oh my God. Wow. I'm you, telling you. I hope you somebody loves them? me as much as you love them. <laughs> um, I love them. When I was in the hospital dying of COVID, somebody got crazy bone to send me a message. He was like, when you get done, we're going to have backstage passes. I was like, you know, COVID, I'm going to beat you. Like, I was going to die. <laughs> he sent me that message like, no, nah, I'm not about to miss out on this opportunity. So. So never, never mind, y'all. Yeah, never mind. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, 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 love me back in. <laughs> I took the oxygen off myself. Like, bitch, I got a concert to go to. <laughs> you know Busy ain't going to be there, right? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, don't do my boy like that. I was ready to jump in. <laughs> and and do you fuck with, uh, do you fuck, like, did you fuck with the Mo Thugs family, that whole I album? did. And everybody... Favorite part is when the white boy on the Ghetto Cowboys, my name's oh. Powder P, can I get a 12 game yes. out dog every day on the front page. We <laughs> like, you know what? This is, you know, fuck Eminem. We was with Powder P. You know uh, Ghetto Cowboy was my shit. And I feel like no one knows that song. Oh, come on. Uh, you better count your money. Yeah. yeah. You better count your money. Classic. That Classic. is uh, too funny. It uh, is. Well, I don't want to keep talking about Bone Thugs, but how, how did you? How do you not? I, well, yeah, let's yeah. fucking keep I talking mean, about Bone Thugs. Okay, so, you know, I was in seventh grade uh-huh. when they came out with Thuggish Ruggish Bone. Uh-huh. And I lo- like, and I just was like, who is everybody who is not brushing their hair? I just, I fell in love. <laughs> and I remember when I knew I needed a psychiatrist because 
the original Crossroads. Everybody knows the first, the second Crossroads, but mm-hmm. they had the original Crossroads. Okay. And, and they killed Wally, and I'm sitting there crying in class, <laughs> swinging at the air and shit. I'm like, man, what? And they sent me to the counselor's office. They was like, yo, you need help. And I have this full book of all my homework for years. It was just Bone Thugs. Anything creative writing, everything was around them. And wow. I, like, it was like Bone Thugs and Jonathan Taylor Thomas from Home Improvement. <laughs> Two very, Two very, different, like, different. Half my room was JTT, and the other half was Bone Thugs. That's so and, it's crazy. <laughs> so I just, I don't know. I just love them. I love them. Well, hey, uh, have you met anyone else besides Crazy Man? I met all of them, and I got to perform on stage with Bone Thugs and Harmony a few years ago. What? Sorry. Oh, my God. I was doing all the songs. They was like, who's that fan up there? <laughs> I was going crazy, and that's, that's why... It's funny because I had a baby and everybody is always like, oh, my child's the best thing that ever happened to me. And I always have, my baby's not even in my top 10. (laughs) They have not even hit top 10 of shit I've done. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm 40 with a three-year-old. That's a lot of years without her. (laughs) (laughs) Top of the list is performing on stage with with Bone Thugs and Harmony. She can't outdo that because she's named after them. Right. So that's like, like, that is my, like, to perform with them and be up there. Nothing could outdo that. They let me even go, busy's in the house. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. And I changed it, and Kanisha, like it was crazy. Yeah, so Tasha. that's so funny. Do you do you play Bone Thugs for her? Like, oh my, hey, we will. Sure? I post on Instagram all the time. She knows the song. She have her little karaoke. Her favorite song is First of the Month, which is one of mine, and oh. she be on there singing. Wow! Weren't you had, mad as hell they didn't do it on verses? I didn't watch that verses. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie she, to you. She's about look, to fight look, you. Look, look, look. Like it's, it's not because of them. I haven't watched any verses mm. <laughs> because the first couple with the internet issues is it soured uh-huh. me. So what I just wait for you the that clips. you don't give no forgiveness and no leeway. I'm also a person who doesn't care about signs. So you, <laughs> you don't care hate about signs. No, I'm not. But, but I'm a Libra, and that's why. And let me tell you, <laughs> I knew it. Let me tell you about these balancing motherfuckers. People always say they don't care about signs. I don't believe in signs, but you have to understand your sign is the stars and the constellation that are in the sky when you're born. And we do know the atmosphere affects water, right? Mm-hmm. We do precipitation, all that. What are you mostly made of? Stiff, what are you mostly care. made of? Water. Uh-huh. So why fat. did it affect you? And you're over there acting like a full sugar. fat Libra right now. You're giving me all Libra vibes. Oh, I bet you he would give you the shirt off his back but never let you forget about it. That's a Libra? That's what that False. is. No. I would let you forget about it. No. Yeah. Until the wrong time. Be like, well, remember when? You'd be like, God, damn. I don't care. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Tim, what, wait. Oh, no, we're both the same. We're, well, okay. we're both Pisces. Tell me about I, myself, Kanisha Buck. Yeah, we're uh, both we're Pisces. We're both Pisces, but oh. peep game. Peep game. I'm an Taurus rising Ayo. and a Capricorn moon. So what the fuck does that mean? Well, first of all, with your Pisces, y'all are two sneaky motherfuckers. Anybody who's watching do know that. You guys are very sneaky. You what are you trying to say? Oh, I see you with your cup. <laughs> but before we go any further, have you ever had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? That's yeah. peanut butter whiskey and grape juice. She oh, put no, on no, no. Let me oh get her ready. God. So before I tell her about herself, somebody pass her this. Okay, help me. Tell her to mix it. Yeah, bring it to me. So you guys are very sneaky, but this is one thing I love about Pisces. Y'all are down for whatever. So right. whatever, somebody's like, let's go do this. Like, like you'll, you'll be like, you know what? I'm about to go bust up this dude car. Oh, shit, yeah. And yeah, you're down. I'm always You know down. what I'm saying? I keep a bat in the back seat. See? That's Aww. what I'm saying. These motherfuckers, Pisces, be ready for anything. Mm-hmm. They go with the flow. They're the fish. They go wherever it's going. But one, sometimes it's annoying Ooh. because you guys ride the fence so when we need you in defense mode y'all play the mediators and everything because you like shit to be kind of kind of balanced and cool you making sense right yes it but, smells like a peanut butter oh jelly sandwich so with your Taurus rising though because uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm a Taurus Leo rising okay. you're, to- you're very stubborn you can be selfish when you want to be but you're very giving and you are very loyal so whoever is leading you in the way with your Pisces whoever you have the most loyalty to you're always going to stray that way and that's your Taurus side okay. and I bet you you love snacks because Taurus are the foodies of the chart I'm a snacking ass okay, person I know yeah, yeah. And, but you, since you got the Pisces whoever whatever snack it is you're not particular Tauruses are particular but because you're a Pisces it's like shit whatever you eat and I'm eating so you don't really be having too big of opinion on that's it. fair yeah I'll be snacking I'm a, yeah. I'm a Pisces 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 are you oh, really it's, a, it's terrible over here wait for oh. real yeah oh, oh yeah. yeah this is a sneaky motherfucker and it, it could it could go either way but I, I bet you y'all don't know all her business she lets you know what the fuck she wants you to know and even if she disguises Accurate. it that's what she's gonna believe yeah <laughs> you're, that's you're it really y'all don't know half earlier. of what you think you know but she'll yeah. make you believe you know a lot but we also don't care <laughs> and that's Lee, whatever, whatever, whatever. No, he, that's Lee. He he cares way less than me. No, about what? Well, Everything. Tortures are nonchalant, and so are Everything. Pisces. I be I be reading about the shit. 
I don't necessarily care. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm just things, other oh, people's oh, lives, and oh, shit like other that. people. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. no, I don't give a fuck. That's yeah. your course and Pisces in <laughs> yeah, the yeah. mix. Yeah, yeah I, w- I wasn't talking about not caring about astrology. I know. Oh, fair-ass Libra, motherfucker. <laughs> we gotta be balanced. <laughs> Everything gotta be fair. Oh, Ganesha <laughs> Bus. You're Hi. Good. Thank, you know, I think so. That's How my long Leo you um, been doing stand-up for? Shit, I think we're going on almost 15 years. So I've seen a lot of things change with social media mm-hmm. and everything. Um, it's it, It's been a long grind. It's funny because I was so against the internet and social media stuff for a long time. I know. You need yeah. to try this. That's one of, <laughs> that's one of the best things I've tasted. Oh, I, that's what I do is I get people drunk and Oh, my God. Up. And oh, it, that does yeah. sound like No, me. that is one of the best things I have had in mm-hmm. a while. I create drinks, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoy yeah. that. Usher, I mean, I, nice just, I like, slow. well, you know, if you knew about me, you know that I like snacking and I'm not too uh, particular about what I snack on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I just fuck with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Exactly. You know? <laughs> that's why that's a tourist drink. How can I get a sandwich and a drink in one? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, okay, so you've been doing okay. stand up. You've also I've seen you say in multiple videos that you are the dick whisperer. Oh, yes. That's how the first viral video of All Deaf Digital um until the Fat Drake was they blindfolded us, which is crazy because I had just snapped my knee and I was on my second oh surgery. My mm. I was twerking in Mexico and detached all my ligaments. Ooh. How hard were you twerking in Mexico Man. to detach all your ligaments? <laughs> I was on like 15 shots of tequila. I was going to say, I don't think it was the, the twerking, Twerk, it was right. the tequila. <laughs> it was a tequila and I was um, hired. I was supposed to be performing for Carnival. Mm. So I was on the cruise, Ooh, didn't get to do up. None of my shows because I was fucked up. <laughs> but I snapped my knee and Ooh. I call him Uncle Charles, which is funny because I don't know whose ligaments these are, but I'm sure somebody misses him. Um, <laughs> what was the question? I have, um, the, I have mommy. Why, dick why are you the dick whisperer? Okay, so um, they blindfolded me and I was able to guess and touch all the way down to being Jewish or being from another part of the country. Stop yes, it. Yeah, yes. It is. So it you got to watch the video. A line of dudes. I, oh, I remember this video. That's yeah. how I first saw it. You fondled. A line of dudes. Yep. They blindfolded women. And they, by filling on packages, she was to, supposed to guess what race each dude was. And she got them all right. Yeah. From to, from even different regions. And I mean, I've had experience. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I don't have a type. I ain't got no type. So <laughs> I just... Um, I be knowing if that's the best way. <laughs> <laughs> said, Glad I'm past my abortion Columbia prime because it's crazy yeah. out here. <laughs> I be coffee. from the smell to everything, from showers to growers to it. I, I just I be knowing it, it's crazy. So, um, and I love all sizes: mm. small, medium, large, big. If you pull it out the drawer. I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you got. Whatever you got, I want. <laughs> uh, well, let me ask you this: for for the you know the dick whisperer. Um, what would you say that a lot of dudes and anybody can answer this Nikki Blaze as well uh, Rick too uh, <laughs> what would you say that you f- like dudes feel like women like that they do that they shouldn't be doing you know what I'm saying like like dudes are like yo they make sh- they, they, they're like yo girls love when we do this but girls are like alright bro you're doing too much or like uh, you, you're wrong about this Jackrabbit ah uh, okay Jackrabbit is the first like we like you got to have finesse when you're in the, that just mm. pow, 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 pow. You can pow, pow, but if you're not pow, pow, when like with angles and uh, just that fast jackrabbit is trash. It really is. Um, and um, you be too rough on the nipples. Like that shit, you be like, yo, what the fuck? I be too rough on the nipples? What have I said? <laughs> you point, you point, yeah. you <laughs> nipple rough ass. Nipple. I'm over here like, oh, wait a minute. We've had nipple conversation. Oh, have you? We've had nipple talk before, yeah. and it has been one of the most controversial things oh, we have let's ever talk, let's discussed. Talk about it. That was Talk. Well, no, you're right. I'm you're right. well versed. It was. You're right. You're that's right. Yeah. remember I said I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's, let's that's where up. the jiggle came from. Yes, yeah. that's okay. where it came so we, from. We've debated this on a few episodes. Okay. And um, I don't know if y'all noticed this, but Kanisha Bus got some big old titties. What? I, that is crazy. You can't even say something <laughs> like that. Are you serious? I can't believe you noticed. What the fuck? <laughs> so there was some controversy because Nikki Blades was saying that she don't necessarily like getting her titties sucked on. Mm-mm. She prefers mm. a titty uh, grab. jiggle grab. Uh, no. no. Uh, oh, you like the whole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't like I go, go yeah. under it. Like yeah, that. Yeah. I know. Wait. Out here. <laughs> yeah. How you feel? Not that I know. Um, that's actually my primary spot. My favorite is when they squish the two together, so it's like one, uh, two nipples yeah. in one. 
Yeah, because oh, oh. yeah, because I like joy in both. And if it's you know not more than one person, then they gotta squeeze them together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying to get I the full you. effect. But I like I like the soft bites. I like that. But people get carried away, and you just like they think they're doing something, and sometimes you just be like, all right, baby, calm down, like chill mm-hmm. out. You know, I just met you. You gotta chill. Like it's <laughs> be crazy. But I like I like the the, the sucking and the the breastplate. But I know what you're saying with the the especially if they're behind you and they start shaking. Like, you like this shit is so popular. I like to be grabbed. I like being gripped. Uh, ooh, ooh, like sure. I'm gonna slap myself live on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess all nipples is different. Oh yeah. no, nibble is the look. Same. Everybody's zones are different too. Some people yeah. love like their ears. If you put your tongue in my ear and I could f- hear it, that's gross to oh, me. Oh, you're not a fan of that. No, stay outside of Quiet going in my ear. <laughs> no, have you ever had somebody like lick nah, the inside of your ear? And I'm Pretty like, what gross. the fuck are you doing? Well, I, so like I don't the- even clean that. <laughs> <laughs> I got eczema on my ear. I like ears. the ear shit. But in, if, like someone licking in your ear hole. Yeah, no. Um, no, okay, I'm a lobby. I'm a lobby. 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 Yeah. Some people like doing that. Like, I, someone must have told them that is good. Yeah. Because yeah, I that'd can't. That'd be the thing. Some, one person one tells person you. One person told you that. But did like they this. blow on it after? Because once they get it wet and then they. <sighs> no, they weren't creative enough. They were Okay, you got to. You have to. It was like. If you get it wet, you got to blow. Or it's not the same. See, like that, maybe that with nipples. I would enjoy that more because that's a different sensation versus just you over here trying to treat it like. You need some blowers in your life. Yeah. Huh. And okay, well, we got some questions from the people. We got a couple of questions. Oh. Um, hey, people. <laughs> I'm a people person. And you have a, you have a baby as well. Uh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I do 50 50 custody in this bitch. I'm not playing. So. Not on- she said, not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> you out here today. We're having a good time. I'm yeah. sorry. I wish we couldn't turn up harder. You know, we're going home after this. So I don't want to turn up. Y'all too going hard. home after this. <laughs> oh, well, what you getting into after this? It's not too much since they canceled abortions, but. I'm <laughs> <laughs> do a little whispering. <laughs> oh, a little whispering. Find me some dicks to whisper into. You know, sh- 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 open the hole up. And do. She said, who? She said, what's your sign? <laughs> 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 she said, you. You feel you feel like a Scorpio <laughs> in your facts because they are the freakiest. Mama. Sorry, yeah, right. she said, okay, this dick is a Scorpio, but you, sir, <laughs> your Capricorn is rising. Right now. Your Capricorn is rising right now. Call me basic, if you will, but surf and turf will always be my go-to, mm-hmm. especially in the summertime. Mm. Grill it up, grill me up some shrimps, grill me up a steak, and I am a happy man. Yeah. No veggies, please. Mm-mm. So this summer. Add some power plays to your grilling lineup with ButcherBox. ButcherBox is a subscription service that delivers high quality meat and seafood right to your doorstep. Choose from carefully curated selections of 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, wild caught seafood and more. And right now, new subscribers can receive free grilling bundle in their first order. Now, like I said, I like me a steak. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with a Mm -hmm. steak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do dabble in the occasional pork chop, and they got some good pork, Ooh, too. Yeah, they do. Yeah, butcher Box is where it's at, man. And my favorite thing about the Butcher Box is it gets delivered to you. You don't have to go to the grocery store. You don't have to know how to pick quality meat because you can trust that they always going to give you quality meat. They do. It, it's pretty awesome. I'm stocked up. Thank you, Butcher Box. Every month, Butcher Box ships a curated selection of high quality meat right to your home. Free shipping in the continental U.S. No antibiotics or hormones added. Packed fresh, shipped frozen for your convenience so you can save time on your next grocery store trip. And every meal on average is less than $6. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, that's great. So right now, just for y'all, you can get summer sizzling starting with this special butcher box deal for our listeners. Free bacon for the life of your membership. What? Plus $10 off. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash no chaser and use code no chaser to get one pack of free bacon in every box for the life of your membership. Plus $10 off your first order. That's butcherbox.com slash no chaser and use code no chaser to claim this deal. Yo, guys. Looking for that extra confidence when it's time to have sex with your woman? Well, let me tell you about BlueChew.com. BlueChew. BlueChew.com. All right. BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Well, blimey. 
tell the queen about that, all right? Because the process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you are approved, you'll receive your prescription within days, bro. The best part, it's all done online, isn't it? Does the accent come with the Blue Chew? What accent? <laughs> <laughs> Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problems here, yeah, governor. They're chewable. And <laughs> so if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to stick your tallywhacker in a, <laughs> in, in, a, in a sweet little lassie, now we're switching it up. We're going all oh over God, the UK. Visit bluechew.com, all right? And guys, we have a special deal for you. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code TIM at checkout. Just use just pay five dollars shipping i don't know how many pounds that is bruv but it's five american dollars that's bluechew.com promo code tim to receive your first month free um okay um let's see we got some questions um oh okay what is this j will the gent says um who we gotta talk to for you to be a permanent permanent on diys what's that Damn internet, you're scary. Um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> go over and hit to hear and Patrick because they've talked about it before. That's it. Just go over there and talk to them. How'd you how'd you link up with all the all all deaf digital boys? How'd that come about? Well, first, me and Kev are both from Washington, so hmm. we came up together in the comedy world. Um, okay. And to see him progress so much now, I just because he'd be like, "Man, back in the day when I used to look up to Kanisha and Nate, I'm like, look at you. I don't know how I got so far behind. But look at you. <laughs> <laughs> like it is." So doing the most so. And then um, Doughboy had brought me in. My first sketch over there was the Dick Whispers mm. sketch. Oh, wow. And it just elevated the number so high that that's just... That, that know, shit went crazy. I know. It was translated in like seven different languages. People were sending me... I was like, damn, <laughs> they translated this shit into everything. Which a lot of people don't know. My crutches are at the wall. So they're yelling cut and somebody's holding me up. I'm wobbling. And then I'll go back into filming because I was fresh out of surgery when oh, I got on. Oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, I think it got spread around so much too because it also like... You were so open yeah. to different types of dicks, right? I yeah. felt like it was kind of like... Because even when you... um, I think specifically, some Asian dudes were sharing it with me because when you were feeling on the Asian dude, you were like, oh, this... Like, you were like, this isn't little. But then you were still like, hmm... But he's Asian. Yeah, I was like, is he even more <laughs> Filipino? So I'm from Seattle where we're Asian cap. Like, we, well, we know the difference between Filipinos, Cambodians, whatever, and that's all I used to like too for a long time. Yes. Seeing them Cambo. Oh my gosh. So people have this <laughs> this this stupid idea that Asian men don't put it down, and they do. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. And then Filipino, like they spread a lot of rumors about Filipino men during the war because they were romancing all the women and turning the women out. Mm-hmm. So that's when they started the rumor of, oh, they're, you know, little penises and they don't have, but they were stealing all the women. And a mm-hmm. lot a lot of people don't know that. History. So, history. You know what I'm saying? I mean, knowing the history of that thing. But, um, the dick historian. Okay. So, but yeah, no, it's even just knowing the difference of, you know, from Pacific Islanders to Cambodians to Koreans. I mean, no, I don't know what it is. It's just... Good for Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Yeah. Good for you. Because it's crazy. It's interesting. I mean, it's yeah. great. Because even like, and, I, and I've said this before, like, um... So many people are ignorant to that shit just because they don't grow up around yeah. different types of Asian people. Like even, you know, my high school was like 80% Mexican, right? Okay. And I'm one of my good homies, Puerto Rican and black, specifically one day I remember him being like, all right, Tim, because he was just really trying to learn, right? But he just didn't know. He was like, all right, so so there's there's China and then there's Asia. And I was like, all right, look, man. <laughs> You're like, here is the world. Like, yeah. You're going to want to sit down for this. Yeah. <laughs> You're just sitting there just confused after, like, and oh, my God. So, we just don't know. Wait, wait, so that's, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, that's, wait. That's, that's not that's say. So up, it's a yeah. bunch of different Asians. <laughs> <laughs> North Korea, Which Asia are you from, man? Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that you were like, you know, that you can tell the difference, that's dope, yeah. first of all. And then that you were like, okay. This is this is not a little dick, and yeah. he's Asian, and yeah. I think a lot of dudes were like, "Thank you, Dick yeah. Whisperer." <laughs> yeah, there'd be a lot of misconceptions out here. Mm. Yeah. Even the dude I knew, he was from France. I was like, mm, "You're not even regular white boy. You like that wee wee." And <laughs> sure enough, that's where his ass was. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bro, it was crazy. She like went to the like the the Persian dude, and she was like, "You some type of Persian?" <laughs> like you something? And he was like, uh, "Yes, actually." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. No, Cause no. I know me some titties. <laughs> I love me some titties. If I'm blindfolded touching titties, I ain't gonna know who the fuck they belong to. I don't know. It's good. 
yeah. this one's fake. <laughs> Real or <laughs> this not. This one got big areolas, yeah. but that's it. You wouldn't be able to tell anything nah, about I'm them. No, I'm not going to know unless they accidentally talk and they got thick accents or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to know. <laughs> you just, you never know. You never know. So you've, you've dabbled in all types of. I love men. I don't have, I just love men. And Man, look, I feel you. Yeah, not about the men, but the opposite. Yeah, yeah, the opposite. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's a way. <laughs> opposite. I mean, I, I love all types of dicks is what I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but no, I feel you because whenever people be like, yo, like, what's your type? Mm-hmm. Honestly, like, I just, I don't, I mean, everybody says that, but honestly, though, I feel man, like everybody has multiple types. Yes. Yeah, I like this on, type and that type and that type. Well, it depends on what am I looking for. Yeah. If somebody. Well, for men, it's like, well, what are my options? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, out of these three, that one's my type, you know? <laughs> I think it'd be more about deal breakers for me. Like I have a couple just no deal breakers and then after that it's all fair oh, game. What's the okay. deal breaker? Yeah. Number one, cigarettes. Ooh, mm. that's gotta crazy. smoke. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. You ain't smoking cigarettes. Put that thing out on yeah. my chest. Ooh, that's, a, that's a good I deal breaker. I cannot do cigarettes. Mm. Yeah. I, I just, I can't. Well, so let me ask you this because I feel the same way, right? Yeah. When I was like dating and shit, I was very against cigarettes, but I wouldn't mind some weed. No, I don't mind weed. That's Isn't that crazy hurt. that it works? Because yeah. cigarettes is totally different than weed. Weed is something God, the Lord, created. Cigarettes <laughs> is is terrible. And I was traumatized when I was five. My uncle was making me smoke cigarettes and trying to get me to blow like rings. Oh, God. And I got really sick. And so from then, like when I say I like it, I cannot be around cigarettes. Mm. So I was traumatized from cigarettes. Okay. Um, any kind of domestic violence charge, mm. d- domestic violence is a no for me. Mm-hmm. And uh, That's a good uh, deal breaker. <laughs> that's a deal breaker. And if you're carrying a permanent package, what's that? Uh, AIDS. Uh, oh, oh, permanent oh. package. Permanent package. Other than that, I think I'm pretty much free game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you gotta have a job. And I don't give a fuck if it's serving fries. Uh, I don't care if you got a job. You got a job. You don't gotta have a whole bunch. Of, you just gotta have at least a job. You're not, you Do have you a job. get a paycheck? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you beat bitches? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you? Okay, yeah. last one here. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's good. Eight, per- no. <laughs> I'm a fair opportunist. I th- those are good uh deal break yeah right? I, know. I, think I feel so. like that should be on everybody's yeah no, i feel like that's like universal deal breakers right there hey man some motherfuckers just be smoking it's crazy yeah i mean that one you know i don't like that no i don't even like blacks like if you smoke weed but you Whoa. smoke like black and mild that's Whoa. what they're called Jeez. that's what they're called Jeez. when when the abbreviation goes that's wrong <laughs> Say cheap cigar. We're cut that out. I'm sorry. I've never, I've never called it anything no, no, no. else. But Please don't leave we that in. We we no, we no, we're not leaving that. that. Everybody <laughs> knows <laughs> what it means. You'll be the whole show will be canceled. Fucking around right. for days. They're no. like, ah, oh, no, they you ask me again. They I don't like people that wrong. smoke cigars. Like black, black and, and miles. Black and miles. Yeah. Black and miles well, no swishers. No, you gonna be black? Don't be mild. Fucking crazy, goddamn. What about the old school beady strawberry? Oh yeah. Well, here's the thing. That's what I'm saying. All them dudes, they mess. On the same token, um, I hate crackers because they get really dry <laughs> when I be trying to eat like, without soup. And discriminatory and <laughs> shit. Yeah. You know, salt on the top, they got a <laughs> salty motherfucker. Yeah, man, it's like they got this, they feel so privileged, they think they can just go without <laughs> anything. You, but you got to put some type of cheese or something. You know what I'm saying? Oyster crackers all the uh, time. Yeah. Oh, man. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so this man says, um, <laughs> David uh, Emi Bain 12 says, do you still like young dudes? And why is that it's still like young dudes? Did you have a thing for young dudes? Well, if, if anybody <laughs> knows me, I have a very specific dating age range. I'm 10 years older than my baby's father. Okay. okay. So let's start there. Okay. Um, one night stand was not supposed to turn into a family, but shit happens. <laughs> <It> um, happens <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, I just like younger men. I've always had, even when I was in the eighth grade, and my boyfriend was in the sixth grade. Like, I have always... They're not, to me, like, when I was fucking my neighbor's grandson, can we say fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can't say okay. grandson, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have ever been in a situation where you knew you had the money coming, but it just was maybe a day after a bill was due. Have mm-hmm. you ever been there where you wish you would have got that check just a little bit sooner so you can avoid those late fees and you know they just be adding up? Yeah, cast. <laughs> 
<laughs> now with Chime, you can actually get your paycheck up to two days earlier. That can save you on so many fees. I've been there before and it is not fun. So Chime is way more than just getting your money early and helping get your bills paid. It's also an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, and optional savings account. So when you download Chime, you're getting everything all in one. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. Get started with Chime today. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at Chime.com slash no chaser. That's Chime.com slash no chaser. Banking services and debit cards provided by Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank. NA, NA, right? I just yeah, say any. That's what I just said. NA members, FDIC, early access to direct deposit funds depend on payer. <laughs> <laughs> so I was 35. He had just turned 22. He would always come over at like borrow chargers and shit. And then one day I just <laughs> charger. Yeah, just I mean and he was like, Kanisha, you got games? And he was like, let's fuck. <laughs> yeah. And I was living with my boyfriend you got games at the time. Like out of town. Uh -huh. Oh man, it's lit. I wish you would have been my uh man. Yeah. older yeah. neighbor. <laughs> Where you live now? <laughs> <laughs> This was in Inglewood, and so at the time I used to I was living with my boyfriend, but he was always he was uh, worked for a nuclear plant, so and stuff. He was always gone, but he had the um, the what is that the Xbox and that like came on if you would command you just talked and shit like Xbox turn on and shit. Yeah, yeah. So I used to entice the young motherfucker like I was driving Uber at the time. I had picked this young motherfucker up from uh, Santa Monica, whatever, and we're just talking. He's talking about the guy. I was like, you know, I got the new Xbox at the house, right? Oh my god! And I god. took him to the house. We did whatever. I sent him home in an Uber. I didn't even take him home in an Uber. What is the group pool? But I just. <laughs> My neighbor's grandson, that was my boo for a long time. I just love younger men. They're exciting. The world hasn't beat them down yet. If anybody knows, if you watch anything, I take all my hoes to two places. We go to the Overlook Place um, on Mulholland Drive, uh -huh. and then we go to Venice Beach, 3, 4 in the morning. I got the candles, the liquor, mm. whatever. I have them in the beach, butt naked. Wow. Like, I just, I love the the freshness and the youngness, and they're just, <laughs> they just got a lot of energy and sound. take their youth from them. You're like a vampire. Just, yes. Imagine. Imagine. Because I'm Man very, saying this shit. Well, yeah. Huh? What it is is I'm very immature. Like I be waiting for maturity <laughs> to kick in, and I'm like, God damn, I'm still 22 at heart. So I have to find people that match that because I'm very goofy. Right, I'm right, very, right. you know what I'm saying. So I like them to match that energy. Man, I was, you know, you, you took me back because um, the oldest woman I've ever hooked up with, I was like 22 and she was like 36, and I like, um, you know, to this day I look back with fond <laughs> memories, and I remember walking through her house, stepping over toys and shit. <laughs> And her just kicking him over. And then Tim's like, I have that one. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, oh, you got this leg on set? You know what? Hey, hey, babe, I'm going to be yeah. right here. Yeah, put put I'm the panties back, back on real quick. Hold on. Excuse me. <laughs> Do you got the one in blue? It's oh, something I, I built this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh like, that. you better have some juice after this. Because <laughs> That's why she keeps grape juice in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I remember, and I was. I got Welchers. I tell people this the best part was like. <laughs> Um, it's well It is. Oh, of course. You, you got the top of the line. I got all the snacks. She said, do you like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, yeah. boy? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. And I remember the best part was it. like, um, at, you know, during, she was like, she was like, you just go ahead and go. My tubes are tied. And I was like, oh. this is the best. Older oh, women are the best. <laughs> this is non awesome. Non-functioning uterus. Let's go. <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> so that's fun. It is. It, it's fun. It's exciting. And we, we're not looking. So my thing is, I don't be looking for a commitment. So at that age, I, not, I, yeah. I'm not looking for the commitment, but I also like to train them up for women their age. So I teach them a lot of etiquette. When we go out to dinner, I show them how to tip. I build them up so that they can treat women in their age range a lot better. And a lot of men, and they still hit me up and be like, damn, I'm uh, there are better men for the women in their age range because mm -hmm. of me. So I feel like I'm doing community service So when well. I find my next dude i'm gonna send them to you yeah. go through camp first and then yeah. send them back to me come on i don't mind hit me up with a camp don't let me get rich i'm gonna have a whole compound a of camp. these little motherfuckers everyone's gonna be like here's my boyfriend teach his ass yeah, i don't care on. teach him all the things you know the thing i like <laughs> tell him to do that and then send them back they do well, that and sounds that would be amazing it, yeah i know <laughs> yeah. it's He's fun like, i only felt bad Sleep one camp. time because the dude was on my porch walking back and forth he, and, and he was smoking he was like I, I, i'm too young for this i'm, I'm like, <laughs> 
That's the only time. But it's funny because like I make it because I cook and they're like, oh, I don't eat veggies. I'm like, this motherfucker don't even eat vegetables. Like, <laughs> Damn, like, oh my god. So that's the only time. You said I, I like the mac and cheese out the blue box, please. I mean, that's that sounds like a great time. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people are signing into your DMs right yeah. now as they're watching this. So the answer is Hi, yes. How are you? I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> I am over 18 as of yesterday. <laughs> people be sending me their IDs. I'd be like, okay, this is crazy. I don't know how to treat women and I would like to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind his gray hair. <laughs> I, I dye this. <laughs> I, it's on purpose. Um, okay, okay, damn. Are you gonna? We might ruffle some feathers with this one. Ruffle them because Tran Huang says, "Who is your favorite person to work with at ADD?" But then I'm gonna ask, "Who's your least favorite person to work with at ADD?" Who is my <sighs> least favorite person and why? Favorite, favorite first. My favorite. Damn, this is a hard question. No mm. lie. Because um, normally, well, I guess I would pick John Cena is my favorite because we have our show together, Kanisha mm-hmm. versus John Cena, which was a big show, mm-hmm. everything. But we came in together. So I guess outside of her, I'm going to say my favorite person, honestly, would be Patrick just because, and he don't even be in the scenes, but his background laughter, <laughs> everything makes everything so much better. Yeah. Like when you watch shit and like when they do all the questions and everything and you just hear Patrick crack up, like that's my goal too. If I can get Patrick to crack up, I did my thing. So right. he's definitely my favorite favorite who would be my ha ah, my least favorite person to work with <laughs> jeez louise and i'm going through old school all deaf right now like who the fuck I who's can't. not walk, working there anymore that i can <laughs> yeah. you know what's crazy it was such a dope ass team there right. i can't think of anybody that i was like Ugh. like it just all deaf has they were great at everybody they had. I'm trying to think. You know what? I'm going to say Russell Simmons only because <laughs> when we, the, this is why I'm going to say this. When they, they threw that million subs party that we had, yeah. all this motherfucker had to eat was vegan. And I wasn't vegan at the time. Uh, and all they had was the vegan hot dogs. And I was mad as fuck. Like, I know you didn't just throw a whole party <laughs> at all the work we did. And ain't no chicken wings up in this bitch. So that's who I'm going to go with for my least favorite only because he had the menu messed up. But other good than answer. that, it's been good. That's funny. It's you been know, good. Um, don't don't you ever be like, whenever I'm at All Deaf, and we talked about this before, but like, I, when and I step into that roast environment, I'd be so tired. It's like, <laughs> it's such an, it's like, because it's like, not even when the camera's rolling. Yeah. I'm like, oh God, how do y'all do this all day? Stop making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. They've asked me to do roast me 72 times. Yes. And I declined every time because the first motherfucker called me fat. I'm cut, yelling, cut, and we're fighting. That's what it is. The first fat, I'm like, well, bitch, your mama. And now I'm going to fight. So I can't. Even though I'm very good in a roasting environment, I just don't talk about people because I don't want people to talk about mm-hmm. me. So yeah. I just, they're like, man, we know, like, because I've done comedy. We used to do live comedy shows mm-hmm. at All Deaf. So then I would go in on people. They're like, why are you not on Roast Me? Because y'all motherfuckers start talking crazy about me. I'm going to fist fight. <laughs> so I don't do well with hecklers or none of that shit. So. Look, the, the Roast Me is like an it's art. Vicious. It's vicious, and it's like the shit they say is like, like I always tell people on Wildin' Out, yes, um, I, I got some zingers in there when I need to, but I really don't like it. You feel me? Yeah. And uh, I was on Roast Me once, and some of the comments are like, Tim, why are you so quiet? And here's the thing. I didn't read the email right, and I, I hadn't seen an episode, and I thought I was just there to be roasted. No. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And like when they sent all the information to other comedians, I was like, all right, cool. These guys seem nice. Nope. <laughs> I didn't realize. No. Nice. I didn't realize I was supposed to be roasting back. So, yeah. like, I didn't have, like, I, had a, I got a couple jokes off or whatever, but I was just like, <laughs> it's viral. Yeah. People, a lot of people want to be on Roast Me. They've been bringing people, they've been bringing battle rappers on, because I've been big in battle rap forever. They've been bringing battle rappers on mm-hmm. Roast Me. Mm-hmm. Nobody is surviving because that core group of, these motherfuckers are on fire. That damn Craig Smith, CP, mm-hmm. Brent, they're vicious. Yeah. And, one of the, and then it's shit that don't even make sense. One of the funniest things I've ever heard for me was when Craig said, so, <laughs> when Craig, when, Whoa, the when Craig, five. <laughs> when Craig said, if you knock on Doughboy, <laughs> I was like, okay. When Craig said, if you knock on Doughboy's fridge, a family of hams will answer. <laughs> I was like, where do they eat? Craig, this shit. Craig is incredible. He's a genius. Dude. Oh my God. He told dumb. <laughs> he just be saying. Your mom's killed niggas in the, in the watch riots. Yeah, he just be like, I was like, yo. What are you God. talking? He said, he said Tony 
Baker's an animal weirdo. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's an animal weirdo. The funniest thing on my on my whole roast me episode, and the only thing that sticks out of my mind is was something Craig Smith said to me, and it was like I thought it was just so funny because I had like my full on man bun at the time. Yeah, he was like, "You look like a ten year old Samoan." <laughs> People were saying that was that was what stuck with me <laughs> forever. Fuck, that's so funny. Oh my god! Uh, oh my god. I would not be able to hang in there. They're bitch. No. And they they hit me to come back, and I was like, and honestly, I was busy, but I don't want to come back. Hell no, they be no, thank burning. You. No, thank you. They are cold. Like, they don't. Care. I can't unsee it. Yeah, you know they say things that make people look at you differently. Yeah. Yeah, Ten year olds. <laughs> Fuck. Like, because it makes complete sense. Yeah, not, I'm like you kind of random things. Yeah. <laughs> so great. You're like, I see I it. it. I won't do it, but I love watching it. Oh my God. Are you still doing um oh yeah, you got a stand up show tonight? You still doing stand up Yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. Still doing stand up. I just came back from now that I'm healthy again because I was gone for months from COVID. Mm. Uh, but I just Finish headlining some stuff in the Bay. I have a Kevin Keep Your Distance on the 5th. Again, this will be my third appearance. I'm the first person to ever get a standing O over there and at hey. Nate Jackson's hey. Comedy Club. Wow. Hey. So thank you. Shout out to Nate Jackson as well, man. Yes, that's one, oh, one of my besties. I got old school pictures I'm going to use against him <laughs> for money later on from college. Uh, his, um, his comedy club is in... Tacoma, Washington. And it is one of the best comedy clubs you will ever go to. Oh, my God. It's incredible. It is incredible. I'm so proud of him. It's dope. The Super Funny Comedy Club. When did you move from Seattle to out here? To uh, July 3rd, 2009. Oh, oh shit. To I pursue did. comedy? To pursue comedy. I was only supposed to come. I was a teaching at the time in a private school. Mm. So I was only supposed to come for the summer. I was supposed to go back and then move here with my boyfriend the next year. And I remember we got so drunk that day. And I never had a tattoo in my life. It's a tattoo behind my ear. I woke up the next day. I was like, yo, did we get tattoos? <laughs> so I have a microphone behind my ear from the day I moved here and just got fucked up and was like, yeah, man. <laughs> um, like, I should do something with microphones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do comedy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, and, and it was all off of a dare. I never was, I've always been on stage my whole life, acting, drawing, you know, things like that, hosting events, but never with the intention of being funny, right. which is totally different. Mm -hmm. And my boyfriend at the time, I was managing and he dared me to go up at uh, the Comedy Underground. And at the time, at the night, I was working the comedy Comedy spot, which was the biggest and run by Anthony Tibbs comedy shows in Washington. So he dared me. I got up there and did it. He went back and told him. And then the next week we sold out like all my sorority sisters. See if I is it if I better sorority incorporated. <laughs> Everybody uh came out. It was like people sitting on the floor. They was it was crazy and I fell in love. I was mm. like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And he still calls me and tells me that I stole his life and his dreams. And <laughs> every time I have something, a movie or something come up, he just calls him like you stole my fucking life and hangs what? up. What? Yeah. I was like, serious. He's dead ass serious. That's hilarious because and I still, terrifying. That's what he wanted to do, but he's not doing it. And he's the one who dared me, and I'm the um, one. Yeah. I'm the one doing it. And I remember one time he got on a show with me and opened for me and got booed. Uh, and after damn. the show, we were holding hands, and this guy comes up and didn't realize it was him. He's like, "Oh my god, you're so funny!" But who was that guy before? He should have killed himself. <laughs> and he let go of my hand, and this motherfucker started cheating and stripping. I mean, he was doing all type of wild yeah. shit after that. To stripping. <laughs> I mean, the <laughs> motherfucker was an uh, ex-athlete. Fine as shit. But, mm. uh, whole ass. Uh, I love you if you're watching. Um, <laughs> but then he just started doing stuff to hurt me because... Mm. Mm, he was jealous. He was jealous. Yeah. Wow. It was... Um, and one time he stole my jokes and I'm in the crowd. <gasps> like, this motherfucker... He's like, well, you wrote it in the house so it's fair game. I was like, this is But you crazy. ain't even supposed to be telling jokes at the strip club. What are you doing? And the jokes was like, don't you hate when your pussy got... <laughs> <laughs> got a strange thing <laughs> happening to <laughs> Man. So, but that's how I became a comedian and I just got here and it was a gift that... I didn't even know that I had like that. So. Hey, man, that's how it goes sometimes. It do. The universe was like, yo, we got to put this microphone behind your ear. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from behind your ear. Yeah, put it behind your ear. Hey, that's how it went. So have, you ever been, have you ever been booed? I have never been booed. Mm. Um, so, but it's crazy. <laughs> Let me tell you though, because it is very crazy because you hear all these stories of the greats been booed. I feel I feel my first like DVD at eight months and had went on was like opening for Scruncho and he would spend 10 minutes going, nobody this young in the game should be this good. Like, so I had all this stuff, but I always had this fear of tonight's the night because I know what happens. Mm. So I spent years every night like suffering 
waiting for it to happen. Like once we get on stage, you see all the good things, but you don't understand the mental abuse that most comics go through before we get the mic from them going, you're next until you get the mic. It's like, you're not funny. All this shit sucks. Everybody mm. hates you. It's really hard. And I'm like, okay, tonight's the night. So it took six years. And I got on stage, and it was when Nate was at, um, I'm glad I was back home. I was in Tacoma, uh, Varsity Bar and Grill. Mm -hmm. And I'm headlining, and I can't remember a fucking thing. And I'm 40, and when I say nothing, I got through the first three minutes, and I just start, my sisters still talk about this. I start giving a speech, like, you know, I've been waiting my whole life for this moment since I started comedy, and I'm glad I'm back home, and this is happening. But And I just could not remember things. So I'm like, can somebody just bring me my joke book from the back? Like, oh. I just, and so I'm like, and I'm like, it was the most horrible thing. But And everybody was supportive. Luckily, I was home, but mm. I couldn't remember Damn. anything. I just completely blanked, wow. and nothing would come to me. And I'm reading these things going, nothing. Nothing is meshing. So it was a terrible show. Shit. And then Nate was like, we're going to have, is it cool if somebody go up after you? Because usually nobody goes up after that. Yes. Send anybody. You right. Because yeah. I was ready. I was dying. Oh, you slowly. were supposed to be the headliner? I was too? the headliner. Shit. And Ooh. just blanked. Like nothing. And everybody's ready because I've done that show so many times. Right. Like, yeah. We, and nothing. All of a sudden it's just like nothing. Mm. And all these awkward faces of motherfuckers I've known for years. Right. It's like, and my family's in the back and my sister is in the back crying laughing. She thinks it's the funniest thing <laughs> like, she she funny. <laughs> sitting over there. We knew everything she posted on Facebook was a lie. We knew yes. she wasn't doing any of this. But I'm giving a whole like concession speech. Like, thank you guys for supporting me for all these years. <laughs> I don't know. I've been waiting. Like, it was just terrible. She was like, the speech made it worse. Could you just <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't, everybody was just hella awkward about oh, it. So. That's uh, funny. Yeah. yeah. Congrats. Cool. I'm so happy I mean, for you. Yeah. Yeah. Glad you quit your job to do this. <laughs> Honey, do not go into comedy. See, this is what happened when people yeah. believe in themselves. And ex Stop it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because he comes to every show when I go home. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, Jeez. hey, it happens, man. Look, I've, I've done so many performances. Rick's, and Rick's been there where I, like, uh, forgotten lyrics I've performed. For years, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I still be fucking it up. Here's something I used to do, and I've told this story, but well, I would have the mic. And when I would forget my lyrics, I would blame the microphone. So, <laughs> so I would be in the middle of spitting my shit, and then I would have the mic, and I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I look at I'd be looking at the sound guy like it's fucking funny. <laughs> All right, yo, and I get back into it when I remember it. <laughs> the, the best part though. Is people in the front row <laughs> that would be able to hear you if you're talking. That's what they think. <laughs> but they don't know how the sound system like works, this. dog. No, they're close enough. Yeah, I know. That's I know. saying funny. something, it's I would fun. hear you. Oh, my God. Hey, but at least you had a plan, yo, because the thing is, when you're still confident in your plan, yeah. then they can't tell is when you show the weakness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that confidence is like, well, fuck it. This is still a party. Yeah, man. You know, and that's facts. I, that's why I started learning to fake it, because I'm like, I know I'm going to fuck some shit up. That's why eventually I started being like, hey, y'all. I'm probably going to forget some of this shit. Yeah. So when I did it, I was just like, there goes Tim forgetting again. Yeah, just be <laughs> honest because most people will relate to the honesty. And yeah, fuck man. With it. Yeah. yeah, man. I'm like, okay, so <laughs> you haven't been booed, nope. but you had that happen. Yeah. When would you say was your first show where you like, this, what, I, 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 I made it. You know what I'm saying? This is like, I'm doing this oh, shit. I thought you were about to be like your first show where you just walked off stage and was like, fuck you motherfuckers. Because uh, <laughs> that has happened. Um, okay, tell us that too. So one thing, it's crazy because the way you, especially when I first came to Hollywood, because everything is like smoke and mirrors, so you don't know. So I used to be in the stilettos. I was 100 pounds lighter, by the way. <laughs> um, so I had on these little outfits, stilettos. So if I was in Hollywood, I was very glammed up, all my mm. little jewelry, whatever. But I knew when I did more hood spots, I had to dress down. I had to, you know, not uh -huh. be as glamorous. And I remember one time I was kind Coming from somewhere else, and I was doing this show, this this in this hood ass spot, but I was still super glamorous, right? Mm. I'm talking about the minute I hit the say, oh, oh, who this bitch thinks she, oh. like, and it happened, especially because your titties are out. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was the worst. And so I got through like three minutes and then I just snapped because I don't have good, like, I just kind of snapped. Yeah. And I was like, the next person to go, I'm fucking your man. And everybody, got, I was like, yeah, make a noise. These motherfuckers want to fuck. Somebody make a noise because I'm leaving here with your dude. And everybody was dead quiet. I was like, matter of fact, I don't need this shit. Fuck all of you guys. And I left. Woo. And all the comedians was like, I never seen you give 
give up. And just, I was like, I didn't have time for that. Yeah. Because yeah. they weren't here to listen. They weren't. No. And I mean, they were, uh, uh, everything I did. It's so always like, like say this, something bitch, else. this bitch thinks she's cute. Yeah. Uh-huh. And the moment that. Okay, yeah, somebody thing. can fuck. Somebody say something else. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, yeah, I'm leaving. She said, you, you've been chosen. Yeah. Come here, I'll fuck you When right I now. tell you what, nobody's saying shit. And the dudes was like, I was like, look at them. Look, I was like, and I was like, I'm not about to fight everybody in here. Let me get the fuck out of here. So that was. Look what you did, babe. Now I got to go fuck her. Because you want to talk. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like 27 at the time, so that's when I was real reckless. I'm 40 now, so I have a lot more, you know, mm-hmm. I act a little bit better. But back then, I really didn't care. Yeah. And I used to box for Washington State University, so oh, I had you hands. You were yeah. ready. Yeah. So I was ready, and yeah. I had to lock in a sock, so it, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I think one of my made it points, oh, man, Comedy Central, um, Kevin Hart, Heart of the City, mm. they go back to Seattle to film. Mm. And when they call my name, I felt like Michael Jackson, like everybody was. You know, when you make your city proud, you yeah. already feel good. But the way these, I was like, am I motherfucking Michael? <laughs> ABC, like this shit is a cracking one. <laughs> and destroyed that motherfucking. I'm watching Kevin, I'm watching everybody just die. And I'm just like, oh, this is it. Like, this mm-hmm. is, I, I'm here. And then when that like Comedy Central be reposting and everywhere, and then everybody just watch the comments just go up and just this women empowerment. Cause I be talking mad shit. Mm-hmm. You know, I love whole shit. So like all this shit. And then watching people argue on your behalf. Like when your fans be ready to beat people ass mm-hmm. over you, mm-hmm. you be like, you made it. I have mm-hmm. goons that if yeah. you say something wild to me, these months, they be like, you don't even got to say nothing. They come out of nowhere and they will attack the fuck out of whoever's attacking me. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, you know what? That's why I feel like, like yeah, I'm here. Like this is, this is where it's at. You ever got people coming at you uh, because of the, whole shit yeah. because of the sexualness of your content oh yes all yeah. the time all yeah. the time you know a lot of it is men who still have their mother's last names that mm. are always want to call oh somebody a God, I need a drink That's every time they, <laughs> listen every time they get talking crazy my first question is whose last name do you have because it's usually their mom wow and that's Damn. just a fact so <laughs> then we you, you just have to look at, <laughs> I'm, if, I'm using if, that if I was it. that right now I'd be yeah. like hey, I, think <laughs> I, I felt it because I know how people would react yeah. because mm-hmm, we've all heard those guys you, before you hear them just mm-hmm. ask them well whose last name do you have Woo. it shuts down a lot well well, what? nah well me and your mama a hoe like <laughs> actually matter of fact I can tell wow. her to pass me some contacts nigga <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they always want to tell you shit or you're not yeah. married or you're not well. Don't everybody don't want to be married. I mm-hmm. love these hoes. You know what I'm saying? It's not 1950. <laughs> I love to spread my shit out. So yeah. they be talking. Is your mom married? Oh, I didn't think so. Like they always. Damn. How many kids you got? Did you marry them bitches? Like it's always Ooh. the weird motherfuckers that yeah. come out to attack you mm-hmm. that have no sense of stability. Mm-hmm. They were raised by their mom. So they have bitch reactions because anytime <laughs> a man comes at you like that, you can tell that he has feminine tendencies because he didn't have no positive men around them because Ooh. no man should be on your Instagram talking about you too high yellow to be wearing red lipstick. Oh my bitch. god. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Like it's, it's it's these weird ass dudes but yeah. they mm-hmm. always hose this hose that. <laughs> yeah. But who you gonna have sex with if ain't nobody having sex? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's the uh, hose is valuable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And it's not like hoes, like, oh, we getting paid to fuck. I'm very selective. Ain't yeah. no nigga never fucked me. I fuck who I want to. Mm-hmm. Like, let's be clear. Yeah. Um, But they try to twist it on you. That's why, like, even with the WAP, there's some hoes in this house. I was like, they wasn't talking about us. They was talking about y'all. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all the hoes in this house. Like, men, for some reason, feel like they not the hoes. Yeah, you you be the hoes, too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want to drink. I want to go mm-hmm. shopping. I want to do some other shit. You get yeah. chose. You can get a little <laughs> bit ahead. You know what I'm saying? Just goofy shit. So. Look, man, when, and that's facts, because whenever me and Rick say some shit about hoes, there was always been someone who's been like, how you gonna, you know, talk about women like that? It's like, yo, we never, we never said, said hoes. Yeah, we never said hoes was women. You know, we said hoes. Anybody yeah. can be a hoe. Anybody can we, be a hoe. All the time refer to our shit as the hoe days. Yeah. <laughs> you exactly. Your yeah. 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 And everybody should have a whole phase. At the end of the day, you really only have one life. And sometimes, like, my whole phase started late. I played that good shit until 27 to 31 was wild as fuck for me. <laughs> and I feel like everybody should experience it because at the end of the day, you honestly are only here once. And that, you know, I was I was engaged at a high school and in college. I've, I've been in love a few times. I, mm. I feel like love is good. But I also feel like experiencing stuff and 
doing what you want to do shouldn't have a negative rep on it, especially mm-hmm. because men get so many props for it. Well, I want somebody that's retired. That's what I call it. I, yes. want, a, I want a retired <laughs> hope. retired Well, hope. the reason is, is I want to know that you've already done it. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to get with me and now start looking around because yep. you got me thinking you can get others that yep. look like me. No. Yeah. Like, go and play the field. Go and get that out your system. Go and live life because when it's our time, I want the next phase. I want just yep. that. But if we get together and all of a sudden you want to start acting different because you think you have options. Yeah. Go go back out there. You're not yep. ready. I'm, I'm good with live. active hoes. You want an active? <laughs> a- active hoes okay. with logic. Yeah. You just got to understand that if you okay. get to be an active hoe, so do I. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we both can play that game yeah. is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I, I don't even disagree with cheating because I'm a side piece baby. So I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for cheating, right? <laughs> uh-huh. My dear, my mother s- s- had a baby with a married man. It's me. But my thing is, if you cheat, I'm cheating back. I don't understand. Like, if you want to stay with somebody, don't just forgive them and not go do your shit. They don't got to know about it. Mm. But get your shit in because I feel like it's very hard. Monogamy is wild as fuck. Like, honestly, and when I got with my baby's father, he's 10 years older than me you know so my sex drive ain't even where it used to be like I'm sure I'm like yo if you go on vacation and you do your shit I don't want to know about it but I'm not tripping you know what I'm saying don't be fucking no bitches in the city now I gotta go out women Mm. we just don't like to be embarrassed and we don't want you to spend your money on these hoes Mm. that'll be the two things do not embarrass me and don't give this bitch no Mm -hmm. money and I'd be cool don't be keeping in contact and shit go to Puerto Rico do that and come the fuck home I'm not (laughs) tripping off shit like that right well if you're going to Puerto Rico you gotta pay a little bit. A little, a little bit. You know, just, I mean, anywhere. I mean, ain't nobody just getting free ass. But I'm just saying, like, you're not going, taking a bit shopping and doing right. the money. You know oh, what no. I'm right, right. So, but no, I just, yeah, I get I get all type of, and I laugh at these motherfuckers, especially, like, they be calling you a nasty bitch and all that. I'm like, man, bitch is so 1980s. If you want to come for me, you got to be creative at least. I like, agree. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm good for And I will fuck Say your cut. father. So yeah, leave you me will alone. Fuck your fa- and, and your grandson. <laughs> and your grandson. So leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Advice for upcoming stand-ups and advice for would-be dick whisperers. <laughs> uh, I'll start with the dick whispers. Um, take your time. Get to know it. Examine it. See what's on it. Um, don't see be, what's on it. Yeah, sometimes if it be a bump or two, you got to be like, you know, this. I've seen a lot of dicks and know this bump ain't normal. Like, You know what I'm saying? Like, Examine what's I going on. Weird things. <laughs> <laughs> um, be open-minded. I feel like people hear so many stereotypes they're not open-minded to different men. Mm-hmm. See... Um, See what you can experience. You have, like I said, you always have one life. Go out there and just keep everything cataloged. So then now when you're in the world, you could be with your homegirls. Like, you know what? I could see through pants, gray sweatpants, shirt, <laughs> the way they spend money, the way they drink. I just be knowing. Um, and, and watch people's patterns. Because just a real quick story. I remember in Vegas, there was a one dude. If they're too loud and too showy and flashy, it's probably going to be weak. Always go from the more quiet, humble mm. dude is always better. Because I mm. remember when I get drunk, I have no filter. And the dude had the shower going. We was in the suite. He was buying people drinks all night. Had the magnums out. I'm ready. And this motherfucker <laughs> had no dick. And I remember turning the shower off and going, baby, you don't even got shower dick. Come on. like Let's not even play. Because I'm very vocal when I've been drinking. Yeah. So you watch patterns. Of, excuse me. She said both of us ain't going to feel this. Right no, now. yeah. <laughs> you can watch patterns and you can determine men even from the dance floor to the way they act. So just pay attention to everything and you usually can pick out what you want. You know what I'm mm. saying? From who's eating what to what positions to everything. Um sushi bar dudes usually eat ass. Listen, so <laughs> <laughs> dudes that work at the sushi bar or that are eating the sushi. Like, you know, I don't even care if this ain't cooked. They'll be like, you know what? <laughs> Give me that raw ass. <laughs> 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 um, for upcoming comics now nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> and anybody drinking Hennessy because they will not remember the shit they're like you did eat my ass no I didn't <laughs> Wait, all right, all right. sushi and Hennessy oh, oh my Hennessy. god okay. have you ever accused we'll go on a date <laughs> did he just order sushi <laughs> and Hennessy oh my he gonna beg to eat it <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me go wash my ass in the bathroom real quick <laughs> yeah bring me them chopsticks let's, Let, okay oh, listen yeah. chopsticks shove it up my ass <laughs> 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 Oh, if you do it in a circular motion, it might be a good time. Oh, but not the Louis ones, because, you know, you don't want to mess those up. <laughs> oh, God, I'm horny. So, <laughs> who do you love? <laughs> well, these niggas out of school yet. So, uh, I'd be at the college games like, yes. <laughs> uh, she got a sign for somebody. Who's number 23? I'll take that one. You. Um, graduating seniors. Um, <laughs> for legal reasons. So what I'm saying is, uh, 
I'm well, sweating. What's the next question? Upcoming <laughs> it don't even matter. I love these hoes. Um, so upcoming cool. comics. One thing, because so much has changed now, the number one thing is utilize your social media. It has completely changed the game. Is there's a lot of money over there and there's a lot of exposure over there. You can and don't just try to go viral. That should never be your goal. Because what I notice is a lot of videos that try to go viral never go viral. And all these accidental, weird ass those are the ones that make it. Do it for the gram. I ain't gonna do it. Mm-hmm. They you know, little shit. So focus just on being yourself and your craft so that people can see you because you're always going to have a following and you'll always have people that don't like you and people that like you Mm. and you just cater to being yourself and not making anyone happy and you will find your people everybody has their their people be Mm -hmm. honest be authentic Um, go out there and tell your truth and don't be afraid to speak what's on your mind and a big thing is don't be too political too fast because it can kill you off with this cancel co- um, culture and everything that's going on. So you got to kind of ride that way to get to a point. You can't come out as Dave Chappelle. You mm-hmm. got to kind of start and wait to get to a higher level mm-hmm. because I have a lot of shit I've written even 10 years ago. And I remember Rodney Perry was like, you can't say half this shit till you reach a certain level. And I haven't even reached that level yet. Mm. So I know it's a lot of stuff I still can't say. And I've been doing this 15 years. Mm. And he told me that early. He was like, don't say this. Don't say you, you, you'll end your career before you get there. Mm-hmm. So be conscious of what you're doing and don't just do things for shock value. You really do what you feel and believe. Get you a notebook. Write down all your memories because people want to, if they fuck with you, they want to hear everything you've been through and find and pull the comedy and the truth in that and just go for it. And you have to stay on stage. You have to record yourself. You have to be out there and remember you still you're seeing everybody making it but you still got to put in that what we call it the hundred thousand hours Mm -hmm. it's a hundred thousand hours of free work that you're putting in so don't think you been blew up on the internet in two days and now you want ten thousand dollars to fucking make an appearance Mm -hmm. put in your work Mm -hmm. because a lot of these people that you're seeing are blowing up a lot of them also were behind the scenes for 10 years doing stand-up and doing these things so Mm -hmm. just know you have to put in your work in and nothing is overnight exactly i say it's always uh Mm -hmm. it's, it's like it yeah. seems like nothing and then all at once. Yeah. You know? So be all ready. Right. Well, bang, bang. Kanisha Buzz dropping all types of bars. Uh, I appreciate you so much for pulling up. Where can they find you and follow you and all that? Um, Kanisha Buzz, K-A-N-I-S-H-A-B-U-S-S on everything. Also, to my fans that are watching that I already know. So everybody's always asking me about this OnlyFans. I oh, created... Oh, shit! Yeah. They do. I created my own OnlyFans. You have to send an ID. You got to sign an NDA, all this stuff. Ooh. And then I send you the package prices. And baby, in the last month, because I started it last month, because uh-huh. people have been asking me, this shit is going down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is going down. You get your money's worth. It's fun. Uh, you know, what would you do if your son was at home? You know, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> what, what's, what's, the, what's the link? You have to hit me in my DM. Oh. And then I not send you. It's thing. not anywhere because you have yeah. to go through an NDA, your ID, and all this stuff first, which protects both of our information. Amazing. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because if you just post a link, everybody's on your shit. I don't need yeah. that screenshot of everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. So, and most of, you know, so I got everybody on file. Everybody's shit is personal okay. to them. Well, I got so, a I got a pen in my purse next to my <laughs> ID. <laughs> Listen, I'm you telling you. Can take you. a picture of my ID. Right. right. Like, <laughs> we are all pre- fully prepared. Can we do a package? Because we all horny now. Yeah. 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 Listen. Is, is I'm it buy, buy one, get the other two? Listen, yeah. yo, no, it's some bad ones. Give one free. It's a lot of shit going down, but okay. it's I protect everybody, and it's, it, they're amazing packages. And then at the end of the day, my shit's not out there because everything's individual, and it's a million dollar NDA, and I will take money from your check for the rest of your life. Yeah. Fire. So NDA that means we can all like join her. And then it gonna never get out. Oh. Listen, listen, nothing gets yeah. out. These motherfuckers will get sued. And when I say sued, sued, my sister owned a law firm here. Ooh. Everybody going, I'm taking all your money. So well, let's split. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just got you just got some business right here. Tim is gonna pay because he got money. No, so no, no. no, 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 no. We we're in, it. in that we're in oh. content. Like, people oh. have asked me, could they be in? The, they're like, yo, can I get a job? I'm like, well, I mean, I just started. It's just me right now. I don't know how to. <laughs> they're like, no, you got a business on your hands. But it's got going cute well. feet. I'm squeezing. Yeah, it's the feet. It's it's a fifty dollars for feet. The one dude just sent me one hundred twenty five dollars just to do a video of the bottom of my soul Shut. and me just crunching my feet and making sex noises for wow. two minutes. Okay. So if I don't come back next month, it's because <laughs> I have joined the like, voice number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, but no, I appreciate you guys for having me. I had a really good time. Thank Follow you, Kanisha. Yeah. So much fun. All right, y'all. Once again, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. Uh, rate us five stars on wherever you listen to your podcast and follow all these beautiful people. Mm-hmm. I'm Tim Chantarangsu. I'm Ricky Shuck. I'm Nikki Blade. Bye.